Hello world, how are you guys doing today? Serena Williams. Um, today I just kind of wanted to talk to you guys about how to deal with injuries. Um, as athletes, we are subjecting our bodies to a lot of stress and a lot of times our bodies cannot handle it. Um, by <laughs> the funniest thing that I heard, it's, it's actually really true, it's like when you watch a runner run the 400 runner, and we'll just use high school kids for example because they're new to running so they're not really sure how to control their body, but the first 200 meters is always like they're just out there, they're running, it's really smooth, and then they hit the 250 mark and you kind of see them hit a wall, and then their form is still okay, and then they get to that 100 and it's, you kind of get the, the robotic look going on where you feel like you can't go anywhere. And that last 50 meters, you just see kids doing all different types of things. And they're putting their bodies in weird positions, and their arms are doing weird stuff, and their head's back. And the reason I'm saying this is because that's the body's way of letting you know it's uncomfortable and it doesn't want to keep doing what you're having it do. Um, it, the, your body naturally puts itself in a position to where it kind of like, makes you incapable of operating properly and so um, with that being said said it's kind of the same thing as how injuries work um, your body is probably telling you hey I'm hurting um, I'm still hurting but it's not specifically we'll use a hamstring for example um, you may be having hamstring problems but you're having hamstring problems because your hips are offset or your calves are tight or your Achilles hurts, or, I don't know, your knee cap is swollen. Um, wherever the injury is, it's always due to, like, some other thing in your body. Because our body always knows what's right. And sometimes our brain doesn't listen, just like our heart doesn't listen to our brain. And just, our bodies are just weird things. But when it comes to, like, dealing with injuries, be patient. I know it's really hard, it's really frustrating, you want to get out there, you want to run, you want to compete, you want to do whatever it is that you have to do, but the best thing for you to do is to relax. And the reason I want to talk to you guys about this today is just because I have my own personal injuries, my hamstring, which is off and on. I've also broken my foot, <laughs> which is off and on too. So sometimes it's frustrating dealing with injuries because it's like I just want to get out there, I want to run, I want to compete, and the coach is like, no, hold off, put that little practice in your pocket and save it for later, and sometimes it's hard, I'm not going to sit here and act like it's super easy to rest or take a day off, but you just have to trust your coach and the training that you've been doing, that these days or weeks or however many you decide to take off are not going to be a setback from training, but actually help you get healthier. And so that when you do come back, you don't have to worry about injuries or that same problem happening. And make sure you're doing the rehab that you need to do in order to um, sustain health. Um, I don't know if you can see it, but my foam roller is back there. It, like, lives in the living room. <laughs> um, but, yeah, that's kind of what I just wanted to touch on today. So I thought I'd shoot a quick video that um, if you have injuries... It's okay, it's normal, relax, take a day off, ice bath, eat, protein, um, listen to your coach, think happy thoughts, that'll help, and don't stress over it. You'll get better um, in time, just make sure you let your body heal. So that's all I have for you guys today as far as injuries and update on my track life. Um, next video I'll shoot probably be something about hurdles because it's what I do for a living. But outside of that, I hope you guys have an awesome day. And if you like what you have he heard, um, watch my other videos, subscribe, like, comment. Let me know what you guys want to hear. Or if you have questions as far as, like, what it's like pursuing a professional track career, don't hesitate to ask. I'm more than willing to answer any questions you guys have. So talk to you guys later. <laughs> Bye.